So what do these have to do with poker? Watch this video to find out. Welcome to Backyard Poker. I'm Ryan. I like my new studio set up here. I got some new lights, got some new backdrops. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. So I'm here today to talk about my backyard poker dice. These are some dice that I created to spice up your poker games. And you might be thinking, come on, when are dice ever used with poker? Well, usually they're not, but this is Backyard Poker, a channel dedicated to expanding your poker palette beyond just Texas Hold'em. So this is the first DIY project I created for spicing up my poker games. So in this video, I'll show how I created these dice, an explanation of each of the dice function, and a sample game using them in action. So I made these dice specifically for my poker games. So I went on Amazon and found some large foam dice that are used for preschools, and I adapted them to be used for poker games. The link will be provided below in the comments. And then I added some custom decals to some or all of the die faces. So using an inkjet printer, I found some special sticker paper on Amazon, which I'll also link below in the comments. And the printout looks something like this. I created these decals in a program called Adobe Illustrator and then exported them to a picture file. And finally, to get all the precision cuts on the die decals, I used a Cricut machine to cut and form the decals. And as you can see in this close-up, the machine did an incredible job of cutting the sticker paper into decals that I apply to the dice. So to explain this further, let's head over to the backyard and see them in action. Welcome to the backyard, everyone. This is where I'll be showing my games in action, and in this case, my poker dice as well. Now these dice can be used in all kinds of different ways, so use your imagination when you go to create your own poker game variations. And after explaining these, I'll show you a poker game variation that I created using a few of these dice. So let's start with the 10-sided die first, this guy right here. Uh, this is usually used to indicate wild, but it could be used in other ways, as I'll explain later. You could have this thing be rolled at the beginning of a game, to determine what the wild card is going to be. In this case, it would be a four. And what you'll notice on the die here is that the zero and the one were replaced by the decals I created on the cricket. So the zero is actually a 10, and the one is actually a roll again. This lines up better with a regular poker deck, which starts with the deuce, or two, and goes to 10. Now let's look at this 12-sided die. This is a little bit different. This is a little bit more specific to wildcard. So along with the two through 10, that is a standard poker deck, I added a few more custom decals for high hole, low hole, and no wild. Now the high hole and low hole are for special games where the wild card is going to be the card in your hand or the hole. So a low hole would be the lowest card in your hand that isn't shown to the other players as wild. And the high hole is the highest card in your hand that's not shown to the other players. That would be wild. And I actually added a no wild, which would eliminate any wild card in the game. Now let's move on to the eight-sided die. This could be used for split pot games. And I'll explain split pot games in a separate video on Poker Basics coming soon. So using this as a split pot indicator, it would show what card in the hole would take half the pot. A common example would be low spade, otherwise known as low Chicago, where at the end of the game, whoever has the lowest spade revealed would take half the pot. And finally, let's look at the four-sided die. This is a die that just indicates the suits, hearts, spades, diamonds, clubs, and can be used in combination with another die. For example, you could roll these two dice and have the four of hearts take all, split the pot, it's your choice. So a lot of times the four-sided die can be used in combination with one of the other dies. All right, so how about we see these dice in action? 
I'm going to show you a game I created that specifically uses these dice. And the game is called, wait for it, Vicious Choices. Sounds dramatic, doesn't it? Okay, so the way this game is played, it's a seven-card stud variation. If you're not familiar with seven-card stud, I'll have other videos showing poker basics that you can view. But real quick, it's a game where you deal two cards down to everybody, four cards up to everybody, and then the last card down so that everybody gets their own seven cards to play with. Now, the way that I'm using the dice in this game is at the beginning, before I even deal out the cards, if I happen to be the dealer, I would have the person to my right, or the dealer's right, take these dice and roll them onto the table. So, to begin the game, we're going to have six is wild, and the low club splits the pot. This may change towards the end of the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deal out the seven card stud hand really quick and go through some basic betting maneuvers. And I'll just fast forward through it quickly till we get towards the end and we'll show how these dice may possibly be changed. So at this point, I'm just about ready to deal the last card. But here's the twist in this game. Vicious choices. What'll happen now is the person with the lowest hand showing, which is me the dealer with my queen high, I get to make a decision. I get to determine whether one of these dies can be re-rolled. Now let's see what I have. So I have a pair of tens, no wild, no low card. I could try to see if I'll get a 10 as a wild card, but I got some diamonds here, so maybe I'll re-roll the eight-sided die to see if I can get a diamond split pot. And I didn't. So it is now low spade takes half the pot. So after this is done, I'll deal out the last card to everybody, down. And we'll see who won the game. And we'll take a look here. Not much help here for the poor old dealer. This player over here has a wild card. And looks like this person has a straight. Ace, two three, four, five, using that wild card. So, so far, that player is the winner. But this player has no low spades, so there still is a split pot out there. This player here has a three-of-a-kind queens and no spade as well. So the person with the straight over here is still the winner. And then finally, this player over here who has a lot of spades, so we already know that this five of spades, basically any of these spades, would take half the pot. But the hand is a flush. So in this case, this player has a flush, which beats this straight, and this player has the lowest spade because they're the only player that has a spade in the hole. So this player would greedily take all the money and win the game and be smiling profusely. Must be a peach of a hand. So here was just an example of how to use these poker dice in an actual poker game. I hope you found this video interesting and can already think of some creative ways to use these poker dice in your games with your friends and family. I'll post a link to the Illustrator file that I created. You're free to download them and use them for personal use. I will also share my Cricut project in case you have one of these incredible machines. No, Cricut isn't paying me for this. I just think they're great machines. And if there's enough interest, I may offer pre-printed, pre-cut decal sheets that you can order for a nominal fee. 
leave me a comment and let me know if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like the video. And if you want to see more videos about creative poker ideas, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you on board. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. My wiener wants to say hi. That didn't come out right.